I finished my college education at George Washington University in Washington, D.C., and it was at that time that jocks and my paths crossed. Mr. President? Yes. How did the romance between you and Jackie begin? At a dinner party. I uh, leaned across the asparagus and I asked her for a date. You did not. <laughs> we did officially meet at a dinner party given by mutual friends Charlie and Martha Bartlett. Chuck called me the next day, but he did not ask me out. So we went our separate ways. I on a tour of Europe with my sister Lee, while Chuck began campaigning for a Senate race in Massachusetts. Then he went on a tour of the Far East. And experienced another brush with death. I had almost died when I was only two years old from scarlet fever. And then back in 1947, while on a fact finding tour of Europe, I fell terribly ill. And in fact, I was given the last rites of the Catholic Church. And it was during uh, this illness that doctors did discover that I had a problem with my adrenal glands. I couldn't fight off infection. But that condition was relieved, first by use of medicine, and eventually by use of the drug cortisone. But in Japan in 1951, my fever rose to 105 degrees. I was delirious and was packed in ice. And my brother Bobby was with me, and he had telegrammed Dad that there was little hope for my uh, survival. But survive I did. And you know, while recuperating, Bobby and I spent a lot of time talking about the future. In my brother's mind, there was nothing more important to him than his wife and his children. My children, he told me, gave you hope for the future. Well, I was then 34 years old. And maybe it was time for me to finally just settle down. Speaking of settling down, yes. it is well known that you had many female friends, so now would you tell us about Marilyn? <laughs> when I began the press conference, I stated to you I was going to answer these questions candidly and truthfully, and I guess I must now do so with this rather persistent question. I will tell you all that I know about Marilyn. Marilyn was one of the original uh, 13 colonies. It's actually bounded by uh, Delaware, Pennsylvania, uh, Virginia, and uh, West Virginia. And that is what I'll tell you about Marilyn. Oh, these questions tonight are as tricky as those I would get asked by the reporters back in Washington. And I remember in particular this one female reporter who came into my Senate office one day in 1952. Senator Kennedy, as the inquiry photographer for the Washington Times Herald, I want to ask you, what do you think of the Senate pages? Well, I, I believe it would be a very good idea if the senators and their pages would change places every now and then. So, Jackie, I, uh, I read in the New York Times a couple of months ago that you're engaged. Yes, to stock market broker John Huston. He is the man of my dreams. Well, he was the man of my dreams until May 17, 1952. John could not make it to an exclusive Washington dance, so at the suggestion of Martha Bartlett, I invited Chuck, and a spark was lit. Weeks later, I slipped my engagement ring off my finger and let it fall in John Husted's pocket. And that's when Jack's and my courtship truly began, and I first came in contact with Jack's family, including his sisters and sisters-in-law, whom I like to call the Rara girls. <laughs> well, now, they did not exactly take to Jackie either. When she informed my family that her first name was not Jacqueline, but rather it was Jacqueline, <laughs> Ethel was overheard to say, and it rhymes with queen. <laughs> but there was a member of my family who Jackie really did like, my father. And she would say things to him that none of us would ever dare to say. Well, one night, for example, uh, we were uh, all seated around the uh, supper table where we always held our important discussions. And Bobby and my father, they were debating back and forth on how to battle air pollution. Well, uh, Jackie pitched in with, Call out the Air Force. Have them spray the congested urban areas with Chanel Number no. 5. 
<laughs> and on another occasion, my father was relating how he gave each of his children a $1 million when they turned 21, so they would be uh, financially secure and would not have to uh, depend upon him. Well, uh, she joined that conversation by asking, Do you know what I would do if you gave me a million dollars? I'd ask you for another million. Although I was very different from the other girls in the family, I do believe that Joe might have liked me best. Chuck and I kept our public relationship very low-key, although privately it was quite passionate. And though we were apart often, our dates together were really quite normal. Movies, many of which I paid for because Chuck never carried any money with him. Dinners and games at the homes of friends and making out in his convertible. Jock was not the great romantic. He did not write me great love letters. Although once I did receive this postcard from Bermuda. Wish you were here, Jack. Our uh, wedding took place on September the 12th, 1953, uh, in uh, Newport, Rhode Island. I was a 36 and Jackie was only a 24 years old.